Welcome to Jason's Tech and IT videos. Today we're going to look at a problem with SARS Easy File not displaying PDFs. So if you try to view your PDF, you'll see that you might have a gray screen uh, with a close button at the top or maybe just a close button. So we have one workaround if you're in a quick bind and you've got a small number of uh, companies that you need to look at. Uh, the first workaround involves uh, using the run command. To use the run method, you'll right click the start menu, uh, click run and you'll type in percentage T E M P percentage and it will bring up your temp files then you'll click the columns at the top here where it says date modified the pdf file will be named according to the paye number and cert number if viewing a certificate just double click the pdf file also be aware that this pdf file will be deleted once you click the close button in easy file and you'll see that the PDF displays just fine in Adobe Reader. And you'll note in the actual registry calls, it actually looks for the 32-bit version of Adobe Acrobat Reader. And as you can see, we're using a 64-bit version here, which will bring us to our second workaround. So for our second workaround, we'll click the Start button. We'll type in control panel and hopefully your view at the top here is set to icons if it's set to category that's also fine uh, if you're in the category view you'll go to uninstall a program if you're in the icon view you'll go to programs and features you'll look for adobe acrobat dc uh, click on it and click uninstall and we'll just click yes to proceed with the removal okay so once you've uh, removed the 64-bit version of adobe acrobat reader uh, you'll need to download the 32-bit version uh, to do that you'll go to the adobe acrobat uh, dc downloader page uh, I'll leave a link in the, in the description. And you'll see once you're on the page, uh, you'll see right at the bottom of the page, there's a do you have a different language or operating system. Uh, you'll click that button and you'll see there are some options on the side here. You'll click uh, step one, select an operating system and you'll select your version there, which will probably be Windows 10. And then next to step two, you'll select a language and you'll select English, uh, assuming you're in South Africa. And then you'll click uh, select a version and you'll see that there's two versions listed here. One is uh, the 64-bit and the one without the bitness at the end is the 32-bit version. And uh, before you click the download button there, I recommend you untick these options on in the middle of the page and we can just click a download Adobe Acrobat Reader. Okay so we'll click there to run the installation. Now one important thing to know while this downloads is that um, when Adobe Reader updates it will automatically update to the 64-bit version of Adobe Reader. So after we have installed Adobe Reader, we need to do a few more steps to ensure that uh, we stay on Adobe Reader 32 bits. Uh, it will have some security implications. Uh, so once you're done with all your easy file submissions, uh, I would highly recommend that you undo those steps, uh, but we'll talk about that now. now. Okay, so we can see that Adobe Acrobat Reader has a completed installation. We'll click the finish button.
And as you can see, we have 32 bit bitness for Adobe Reader. Uh, now we also want to make sure that Adobe Reader doesn't update uh, to the 64 bit version. So we'll open up the registry. I highly recommend that you get someone who is familiar with editing the registry to do this for you. Uh, if you make a mistake, you could uh, damage your machine. So we'll click the H key local machine uh, entry there. We'll go to software. We'll go to WoW 6432 node. We'll go to policies, Adobe, Acrobat Reader, DC, Feature Lockdown. And we will create a new D word. And we'll type there B update to single app and we'll just leave that value as zero then we'll go up to policies adobe acrobat reader dc feature lockdown and just make sure that the key is there as well and that hopefully will stop uh, adobe reader from updating Okay, let's go back to easy file and you'll see now that we've clicked uh, view certificate the PDF is showing just fine should you find that your PDFs still don't display uh, go back to control panel go to programs and features remove Adobe Air remove the easy file employer application and remove the easy file fw and also remove zulu java and then run the installation for sars easy file again also make sure that adobe reader is set as your default application for pdf files you can do that by clicking the start menu clicking settings typing default and then the apps window should come up and down here at the bottom click set default by app click adobe reader dc click manage and make sure that all of these items here are set to Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, especially the PDF XML, which in some cases isn't always assigned to Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, please uh, drop them in the comments and don't forget to like. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye. Percentage. T-E-M-P percentage.